As I was leaving the gym today, this guy ran across the parking lot and was waving me down saying he had a question. And I usually know how that goes, right? He was just like, I was just wondering if you had a boyfriend. And I said, yes, I do. And then he's like, well, do you have an Instagram? And I was like, oh, I have a boyfriend. So there's no need for me to give you my social media. And he was just like, oh, I just thought you were very beautiful. And I wanted to get to know you. I was like, thank you. But I do have a boyfriend. And I appreciate the fact that you took the time to give me a compliment. I strongly believe most people cheat or flirt with others because it's so easy to do that, especially when they're coming to you, right? And this person was very attractive. He was not ugly. He was very respectful. But I know that I'm, I have a partner and I can't be doing things that I wouldn't want him to do, right? I strongly believe that some people have a hard time being in a committed relationship because they feel like they're missing out in being single or they're missing out in doing single activities <laughs> but you have to be real with yourself what is it that i'm looking for with this if i give my number to this guy or if i give him my instagram what is it that i'm lacking in my own relationship that i'm looking outside of my own relationship so these are questions that someone who's self-aware would be able to ask but someone who's not at that level will would definitely engage in those types of conversations men or women yeah we're all different she's entitled to her opinion but me personally i would never in my life of living ever ever would i ever ever make a video telling the whole world that another man was attractive and try to approach me while i'm in a relationship er, red flag Oh, am I tripping? But like when I hear some women speak sometimes, it's hard to cheat, I feel like. I feel like it's real hard to cheat. Two people literally trying to tell you guys one thing after the other, meeting one person here, meeting another person, making sure y'all don't find out. That seems like a lot more work than being loyal. If I'm loyal, it's easy. My favorite thing to do in the whole world is, I got a man, thank you. I said I got a man, nope, bye. And start walking away, simple. I'm not gonna, oh yeah, I don't do none of that, y'all. I love men and respect men, don't get me wrong, but when I'm in a relationship, I'm disrespectful as fuck. You know why? Because that's my partner. And I never wanna see my partner going, ha ha, hee hee, and laughing in these bitches' face, making me look stupid. So guess what I'm gonna do? Reciprocate the energy and be loyal. Ugh, I don't know what's so hard about literally walking away from a dude. I don't answer DMs. I, my block button goes quick like that. It's not hard. It seems like people in this generation are making being in a relationship like a fucking chore and like it's hard. If you guys have a wondering eye, don't be in a relationship. If you get to the point where you can't see eye to eye with your partner and you start looking at other men and finding them attractive, don't be with your partner. Now, I get it. There's a difference from thinking somebody's attractive to actually liking somebody, but I don't know if it's just me. I don't get that, guys. There's me about a lot of people in this generation is everybody's normalizing cheating. I'm not saying this girl in general. I'm just talking about, you know... A lot of people are trying to make uh, cheating normalized. It's not hard to be faithful. If you were on a dating app and you found the person you're supposed to be with, delete all your dating apps and focus on that person. Focus on your purpose. Focus on God. And, you know, do you. I'm not understanding why people get in relationships and it's hard to maintain that relationship. If you understand when you get into a relationship, right, it's going to be hard. You're not going to see eye to eye. There might be some days you might not find that person attractive. You might, you know, have a heated discussion and hate the way they, you know, um, went about it. And you might look at them different. But see, I get into relationships understanding that. I get into relationships understand there's going to be ugly and good. But I never, ever in my fucking life of living get to a point where I start looking at my partner and thinking I don't want them. Um, so again, I understand her opinion. That's on her. But me personally, y'all, when people state how easy it is to cheat and, you know, all this type of stuff, I don't get it, y'all. I really don't. Because if you're thinking about that, that makes me think that that's what you have on your mindset. Because I don't know, y'all. I get approached a lot. Even when I was in relationships, it seemed like people were approaching me even more. But it never made me start looking at my partner in a different light or wanting to you know cheat or even like engaging in that because like i said before i care about men but when i'm in a relationship i am a full-blown b-word and i don't give a shit who cares about it i will literally tell you to get the fuck out of my face you can say whatever you want about it but i'm being mean to you and respecting my partner you can say it's disrespectful whatever i don't give a fuck but the one thing you're not going to call me is a cheetah